This is when I met President Clinton. When your parents and grandparents are diplomats, you meet people most of us just see on the news. The Prime Minister of Greece or the President of Austria. Tamara Oyarzabal has met many famous people. Recently, though, she's been meeting people she doesn't want to meet. Somebody put my address, including my exact apartment number, on a gay hookup website called Grindr. Grindr is an app for gay men to go meet other men. In Tamara's case, three or four times a week, someone who calls himself Ahmed tells men to come meet him, and he gives them the address of her Brickell Avenue condo. Then they show up. Well, they just say they're coming to see Ahmed, um, and they're coming from Grindr. So, you know, you put two and two together, given the type of website it is, and it's uh, very clear what they're coming for. She has security, which blocks most of the men from making it to her door, but one did come and knock, and he showed her a picture of the Ahmed he thought he was going to meet. And the security chief also looked at them, and he said that he did not recognize that person as somebody living in the building. The so-called Ahmed was probably using another guy's picture, but the Grinder app also has a GPS feature which showed where Ahmed was. The GPS point of this person, Ahmed, was shown as somebody in my building. And her address popping up as Ahmed toys with her is not a typo or an accident. They chat with him and then he invites them over and then he gives out my address. So it's an ongoing thing. It's not a one-time mistake. It's been going on for months. Most of the people who come to her building understand they've been tricked, just like her. But Tamara says, one day. One of these days, I might get somebody who's not nice, who's drunk, who's violent. And also, if it's somebody within my building, it's very scary. Tamara has complained to Grinder, contacted the police, and so far, nothing has been done to stop Ahmed. Whenever I get a call or whenever not, somebody knocks on the door, my blood pressure just goes up. So Howard is what some person is doing to Tamara illegal. Yes, this is what the law calls cyberstalking. In other words, using the internet to harass someone and intentionally cause them emotional distress. We first tried to track down Ahmed. We got in touch with him. When he asked us for a picture and we didn't send it, he stopped communicating with us. I then contacted Grindr. A spokesperson wrote, it deeply troubles us to learn about the extreme misuse of Grindr that you are describing. He added, we do take action against a user when we learn of violations of our terms of service. Tamara has now filed a complaint with Grindr about the man who calls himself Ahmed. The Grinder spokesperson wrote, together we will work to keep these users out of the Grinder community. Legally, it's unclear if Grinder has to do anything to stop this stalker. But if something were to happen, who knows what a court would do? It's smart business for Grinder to get the user out of their system. Tamara hopes the man claiming to be Ahmed is caught before it's too late. Who knows in the mind of this person what's going on and, and what it can escalate to? which is why it's best for Grindr to get Ahmed off their app. Now some good news. Over the past few days, Tamara says the visitors looking for Ahmed have stopped trying to come to her apartment. And while Ahmed could be charged with stalking, it would only happen if Grindr notified the police of the person's identity. Interestingly, they're not required by law to volunteer that information. It's up to them whether or not they do it. Gotten a surprise visit from an unwanted problem? Apt to give up trying to solve it? Don't do that, contact us. Hopefully we can arrive and open the door to a welcoming solution. With this help me, Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.